tells you. But you don't want to listen. You're stuck in this gully in, in belief that you know what's right. But you don't, but you fail to take I've just met you today. Advice. What do you mean I'm it stuck in this gully? It doesn't, it doesn't matter. Right. I'm just playing to my supervisor and everything, okay? Right. And now I found out how you actually come to be put in this place in the first place as like a temporary accommodation. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah. I understand at one point you did have right to stay here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so, therefore, you won't be arrested for squatting or anything like that. Okay. They've said they want to change the locks. Okay. Which is there, like they said they can do. They said they are giving you the keys. Yeah. To that lock. Okay. So then I'm happy. Right. You're not getting kicked out. They're going to go back and get either the court order or their other legislation they can do mm -hmm. to gain control over the property mm -hmm. and if they comply with that and you come back and the locks are changed or whatever mm -hmm. right and they've and got it this time then right if you, then kick, this time, be if you then kick the door in afterwards yeah what would that no, no i'm not I'll saying say, you will yeah I'm saying if you did do that yeah then that would be a criminal damage which is a criminal offense yeah okay but at the moment what's gonna happen is they've changed the locks yeah and they're going to give you a key for that yeah so that you're still here, but so what you need to do, mind. obviously, yeah. if I was you, if my, my pers I would sit there and try and say to the council, see that they're trying to evict you, get you out this address, I need accommodation. I've got two children, one's disabled, autistic, did you say? Yeah. Yeah, I need accommodation urgently that's suitable for the, my two children, okay? Yeah, not one that's got damp and mould all over the walls. That's the whole point I was trying to say to you. If now, and the only thing is, uh, the whole point is you can't talk about. I don't, I don't, I didn't want to have you arrested for squatting because then who's going to be looking after the children? That's not me. If I'm illegally but, here for squatting and I'm doing something right, that's the right thing to do. But, I haven't got a problem with it. But if the, you, the if, fact of the matter is, you've got children. I'm not into corruption or bad things. If I'm got, doing you, something wrong. So then who's going to look after the children then? Oh, he's 24. One is 24, and I've got oh, a 30-year-old. He's, he's got, he's got... Not the 24-year-old, the 15-year-old. The smaller one is autistic. And so the 24-year-old, can help. he helps me. So if you want to arrest me, the two, I've got a 30-year-old too I can call. I've got my cousin up the road. Well, I've already explained to you you're not getting arrested. You know, if I'm doing something, you. I don't want no one having anything over me. Not... Oh. I've explained to you from our point of view, from a police point of view, from legal point of view, from what us as officers can do at this. If you okay? check my records, I think even police say I'm mentally mad. So I oh, think gosh. this is a... Ma uh, uh, um, if you yeah. check... Yeah, but all right. All right. I've already explained what's going to happen. So they're